Welcome to Math with Jakar Lewis, where I keep everything super simple. So today we are looking at simplifying radicals with a coefficient. So a coefficient is going to be a number that is attached to the radical that more times than not, you'll find it right smack dab in the front. So it's not that much of a difference between simplifying radicals without a coefficient versus with the coefficient. There's just one extra little step. So we know when we're simplifying, right, we're breaking this down. So our focal point is the number on the inside of the radical. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to list our factors. We have one and 32. We have two and 16. And then we have four and eight. All right. And the goal, of course, is to identify what our perfect square roots are. So we're going to underline those. So we have one, 16 and four. Now, based on the numbers that we underline, we're going to choose the largest one, which in this case is going to be 16. So this is going to be the factor pair that we're going to use to simplify this particular radical. So we know when we're writing our radicals, we always put the perfect square first. So we're going to say root 16 and root two. And then we're going to rewrite using multiplication. So we're going to multiply these two together. Now, don't forget about this two that's right here chilling in the front. Anytime you see a number attached to something and there's nothing in between them, that means that they're multiplied together, right? It's no addition, it's no subtraction, it's no division. So that only leaves multiplication to be the actual operation that's going on. So when we get here to this step and we rewrite um, using multiplication, we're going to go ahead and bring that value down, right? Because that is still being multiplied times this particular scenario. All right. And then from here, we're just going to simplify. So of course, we're going to simplify our perfect square. We know what well, perfect square root. We know that the square root of 16 is four. We're going to bring everything else down. All right. Now we're going to multiply here. Two times four gives me eight. We're going to say eight times the square root of two. And then we know anytime we have a number times a radical, we just stick them together. So eight times the square root of two is just eight root two. And that's it. So there's only one extra step outside of simplifying radicals without a coefficient. We just have to multiply the number in the front times whatever our perfect square root is once it's simplified. And other than that, you guys are good to go. All right, so that was example two. So let's go ahead and take a look at practice two. And if you find that you are struggling with this, that means that you need to go back and spend some more time with simplifying radicals without a coefficient. I mean, because the only extra step that we have is just multiplying the number in the front, right? So you always want to make sure that you have mastered the previous situation before you move forward. All right, so we have three root 48. We're going to simplify this down. So first things first, we're going to list our factors. We have one and 48, two and 24. We have three and what, 16, four and 12, no five, six. And eight, and I think that's it. All right, so we're going to underline our perfect squares. We have one, 16, and four. Is that correct? All right, so of course, we're going to choose our largest perfect square, which means this is the factor pair that we're going to use. So we're going to rewrite. We're always going to put our perfect square first. So 16, three. We're going to rewrite using multiplication. So remember, when we have this number in the front, we have to bring it down, right? We can't exclude that. And then from here, we're going to simplify. So simplify our perfect square, perfect square root first. The square root of 16 gives us 4. We're going to bring everything else down. Then we're going to multiply two values in the front. 3 times 4 gives me 12, which leaves us with 12 times the square root of 3. And then anytime I multiply a number times a radical, I just stick them together. So 12 times square root 3 essentially is 12 root 3. That's it. That's how you simplify radicals with a coefficient. So if we keep it super simple, kiss it. Factors first. Choose your largest perfect square root. Rewrite those two factors. All right, bring down the coefficient, and then you simplify Always simplify your perfect square root first because it just makes it easier. All right, then multiply the two numbers in the front, stick together your answer in the radical, and you will be good to go. And again, this is an example of simplifying radicals with a coefficient.